if the system it's funny how people want to pick and choose their portion of the constitution <laughs> that they, they that they would yeah. like to that they would like to follow um, you know if 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 it's broken fix it we've been told it's broken mm -hmm. let's forget about who broke it how it got broken how long it's been broken uh, you know the, the 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 derivation of the word broken let's fix it right let's just fix it and let's fix it in a way that is humane and compassionate uh, and listen to different points of view that we may not agree with, that we may be diametrically opposed to. Let's consider those people as being equally as concerned about doing right as we are uh, and then fix it. Uh, that, that's just common sense to me. Do you guys think we can get to a settlement on this thing? We will get to a settlement. I have no doubt in my military mind, we will get to a settlement. Uh, We're not going to have to go through a trial? You know what? If we do, shame on us. Shame on us. Uh, I know two people who are working to get this thing settled short of trial. Uh, you know, <laughs> there shouldn't be anybody more reasonable than a judge. If we can't reason together, then shame on us. Yeah, I mean, part of what you're supposed to do is, is find a solution to that's right an issue yeah it, right. but it's it's so hard uh, judge fields uh when he wrote his article when they did the article on him in the chronicle and he talked about how he wanted a lawyer from the county to represent him and stepped away from the yeah. six million dollar lawyers um now he has a, a harris county attorney and his Harris County attorney has been working with him and working with the plaintiffs. And we all sit down, have great conversations. I have a uh, pro bono attorney, uh, Alan Van Fleet, a retired partner who just works for free. And um, But it's the $6 million lawyers who don't show up to the meetings, Imagine you know, that. who don't come to negotiate. <laughs> and so, you know. There's an incentive why they don't. Yeah, we need somebody at the county level. I mean, we have Commissioner Ellis, but, I mean, um, unfortunately, he's not in the majority. Uh, but we need somebody on the county level, uh, like Attorney Vince Ryan, uh, Judge Ed Emmett, to say, hey, wait a minute, why are we doing this? Why aren't we settling? Because the word is the plaintiffs won't talk. But we talk to the plaintiffs all the time, and we say, no, we don't like this, or you should change this, or you misunderstand this. And they say, oh, okay, thank you for letting us know. We'll change it. And so I think we all just need to get in the room and do what we're paid to Hammer it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah.